Okay, if you watched our last video, we did an MX5800 Kubota, and I mentioned that the next one was gonna be a larger one, an M model. Well, this is it. This is an M6800. It's, uh, I believe it's a 1998, but it's in very good shape. And the client wanted a cab for his tractor. So as you can see, we got the cab on it now. And one of the first things I had to do was extend his step in order to work with the new cab, because originally it, was, it would have been way underneath here. And like all the other ones, as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing. This tractor is in really good shape, as you can see. The, like the fenders are still like new. And uh, we got all the original, all the same accessories we usually put in. Now these doors, like all the rest of them in the summertime, you can simply unhook the safety chain, take the shock off, and this door will come right off the hinges. And you can put it away for the summertime and have your tractor wide open. As usual, when I design my latches, I make them so that when you close it, it actually squeezes that door in and she's, she's tight as a drum. You'll see I had to do the hinges different on these models. The reason being is the fenders are quite wide and when you open your door, you have to be able to clear the fender and also clear the tire. I've had issues with this in the past, but I found a solution. Because I make this extra long hinge, when you open the door, it actually shoots the door out. And you have lots of clearance for your fenders and for your tires. If I would have made this the usual way, the hinge point would have been right in here. And I would have only been able to get this door open like this far. It would have hit the fender. And if I would have cleared the fender, it would have hit the tire. This way here, you got a nice wide range of opening up your door and it works great. We'll come around the back. As you can see, on this one, actually the, the, the signal lights were able to stay in the same position they always were. I didn't have to mount them on the cab because I had room. Got a nice filler panel in here that that blocks off like 100% of the opening that used to be there. We had to move his toolbox a little bit to keep it working properly. And uh, I'll get in and open up the window. Same thing for the back window. If it ever had to come off, the way I make them, simply got to remove that little 7 16 bolt in there, unhook the shocks, open the window, that will slide right off the hinges if you ever had to. Nothing is fixed permanent on my cabs. And it works well. You'll see inside. I took the extra time and I cleaned up this gentleman's tractor, all the floor, whatnot. Give it a little detail, you know. Uh, you got your dome light here, LED. Your heater here. Nice adjustable fan. All your switches for your lights, your wipers. Nice set of mirrors on the inside. I had quite a time with these models because of this, this joystick assembly, because it requires removable panels all around it in order to seal it, you know, pretty much airtight. Now, if this was ever to be removed, a person would simply remove those panels at the bottom. They all gonna come off real nice. Obviously, I took them off many times and put them on. This tractor will lift right on up. This cab will lift right on up and come off the tractor. No problem if you ever had to. You can see here where I run my heater lines. They're always hidden in, in, this, in this corner post, I'd call it. They run right to the engine of the tractor. Everything's tucked in nice out of the way and works properly. I 
also on this model, no step on the passenger side. There never was, so we never put one. And really, you almost have to get out the other side all the time anyway, because the joystick's always in your way. On this particular model, I had to relocate this main hydraulic valve. So I made a new plate for it. I actually had to bring it back a little bit and lower it about two and a half inches in order for all the lines to clear the new cab and the uh, loader assembly and not chafe or rub on anything. And I had just barely enough room to make it happen, but it did happen and it works perfect. You can see here where the heater lines come out. They're all tucked in nice. They go right to the top, right where they're supposed to go. And they're hooked directly to the, uh, to the water pump. The way I do it, you get heat right away. Whatever temperature your engine's at, you're gonna get heat. It's not gonna pass through the rad first and you're gonna get cooler, cooler air. It's, uh, I find it works great and I've never had an issue. And again, this is an N6800. This is probably, man, at least five or six. I've done the same tractors over the years, but this one's in exceptional condition. We took the time too to clean up his hood, his side panels, his back fenders. It looks really good. I wasn't gonna spend too much time cleaning up the loader assembly, but I, I passed a quick rag on it and uh, it turned out great. And this guy's gonna be happy with his new cab when it gets cold outside. Uh, and he's gonna have a much more comfortable ride in his tractor. And I believe that this unit's gonna last a long, long time yet to come. It runs really well, I find. Nice tractor. And that's an M6800. And uh, I believe I got a small video of this cab when it was in bare metal before I removed it from the tractor because people was asking me they would like to see instead of just a finished product, like uh, before it's painted and whatnot. So we got a small video of that that we're gonna post and uh, you guys can check it out. I'm not sure what the next model is gonna be because I'm gonna be taking some time off. I usually take a little bit of time off in the summer, but uh, when we do get on our next one, we'll certainly put a video up and you guys can watch it and like, comment, subscribe, whatever you feel like doing. Take care.